What's up? How are you guys today? We're gonna do a quick day of eating update. Of course, still on the liver detox diet. Maybe I'll be able to detox my liver before I leave this planet, but we'll see about that. Uh, I've been enjoying just doing the glandulars for breakfast lately. I'm never hungry in the morning. I prefer to hydrate and I feel good and have energy doing this. If anything, I feel worse when I have breakfast. Uh, except for those collagen bars that I've been making lately. So uh, when we have those fully available, I'll probably switch over to those for breakfast. But we got male virility for testosterone. I got the third eye brain glandular powder for some omega-3 and focus. Uh, we got the adrenal and the thyroid here. I don't take these every day, but I do take the male virility and the third eye every day. We're also going to do a uh, half of one of the uh, kind of kratom extract pills uh, that helps a lot too and then we'll do some masticum so let me show you guys everything so it's pretty simple we're just going to take a scoop or two of each of these and then swallow it down with some water i've never really taken more than half of one of these kratom pills at once and, and if you guys are unfamiliar with this we did do a short a while ago basically like uh a very concentrated opioid like uh, I don't know what you would compare it to but it basically just makes you feel good uh, which is nice every morning for a few hours to, to get you on the right track I know we are low on the male virility on organ supplements but we should be restocking everything in like two or three weeks and getting back to the old low price of like $25 which is Amazing considering companies sell this stuff for like 50, 60, 70 dollars a jar. So swallow down all the glandulars and then I'm going to take some masticum. Sometimes, like today I'll do it, I'll take some vitamin C because when we did all that H. pylori research, probably last year or the year before, uh, one of the most important things to inhibit and prevent H. pylori, which is a negative bacteria that can kind of overgrow in your stomach with candida, it is vitamin C. And there's probably some hidden function of H. pylori in digesting the food for you when you're vitamin C deficient. So by taking masticum with vitamin C, it's very, very effective at clearing out the stomach in, in the morning, more so than masticum on its own. And if you want to think of vitamin C or even some of the B vitamins from a simplicity perspective, when you eat certain foods, particularly sugar or carbohydrates, they can deplete your, your nutrient stores, being B vitamins and vitamin C. So in most scenarios, uh, you do have to be taking those on a fairly consistent basis to feel your best. So that's gonna be it for breakfast. Uh, we're gonna hydrate a lot. I'm gonna catch up on some computer stuff because it's July 4th. I might go down to the warehouse and do some work. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, there's only so much I can do on my own. Yeah, like yesterday, we worked for a few hours and then we came home and had like the liver detox smoothie. And we went back to work a few more hours. Uh, and then like I had a few of the collagen crisp protein bars at work. So like I'm doing a lot of physical stuff and I get up really early, I will eat something, but I think we're just gonna uh, come back in a few hours and show you guys my lunch. All right, guys, we did a few hours of work. It's now six o'clock and uh, we haven't eaten all day. So next week we'll definitely get on uh, some type of track with the uh, collagen protein bars and we'll start having breakfast. Uh, so this meal is pretty similar to what we've been doing. We got the protein for lunch today. It's a burger made from the local ground beef with some salt and pepper on it. We have like flour tortillas. I guess you could call it a fry bread as well. It's just flour, water, sourdough starter, let it sit overnight, and then I form it into balls, press it in this tortilla press, and then 
fry it in a tiny bit of coconut oil in the pan. This is like the easiest, most convenient and tastiest way uh, I found to make some type of bread. No fiddling around with fermentations and all that stuff. No timing necessary. Just come home, cook them, five minutes done and eat. We have our white bean puree, which is just white cannellini beans blended up with artichoke puree. All this stuff, guys, the flour, the beans, the artichoke is available on frankystrangefoods.com. We got the local ground beef on the meat website. Usually I put a little bit of collagen broth in this as well, but I forgot to uh, bring some home and thaw it out. So I did not have that. For dessert, we have organic honey crisp apple. Lately, I've been having some lemon sorbet, but <laughs> I've been eating like the whole container every time and I don't really sleep that well after that. So I'm gonna try to uh, exercise some discretion, but it is very delicious. We got the Fuji glass bottle mineral water. And then we have our natural probiotic instead of water keeper. So the main differences between this day of eating and the previous ones are, we have a new method of preparation on the bread, the starch, which is a little tastier. We're doing our new probiotic instead of the water keeper, which I found to be working very well. I usually actually leave this bottle in the fridge and I'll walk over to the fridge take out three capsules and put it on the table for uh, whatever meal I'm having because it, it does need to be refrigerated to preserve the probiotic effectiveness. And uh, we're just gonna do like one vitamin B1 capsule. So I wanna take a break for a few days from all the minerals and see uh, what my blood numbers are at. And also to kind of give my liver a little bit of a break. So supplement wise, just the probiotic and some vitamin B1. I'll touch more on this. So it's a very specific formulation. We did a few shorts on it uh, last week and I will probably do a full video on it maybe this weekend or next week explaining how no other probiotic on the market works <laughs> because like four or five, six years ago when I was having Candida, like my first videos on Candida, I probably tried every off the shelf probiotic and not one of them worked because I looked through all the studies available on microbiome composition of lactobacillus, the phytobacterium, and streptococcus, and I determined that this ratio was correct. And I was like, you know, if a probiotic supplement is gonna work, is going to work, this is it. If not, then like whatever they're making in these laboratories to uh, through these probiotic powders, whatever they're making just doesn't work. However, after the first time I tried this, I was like, well, works just as good as the water keeper. So I guess I kind of nailed it. And uh, it's a lot easier, a lot more convenient. And a few of you were ordering just the shipping. I think there's some miscommunication on the product page. You can buy the probiotic itself for $23. You do not have to purchase the cold shipping. It's advised, especially in the summertime, that you pay either $20 or $30 for like East Coast or West Coast cold shipping because I need to put you know, 20 or $30 worth of styrofoam, ice, and all the stuff, and plus the additional shipping cost. So if you wanna buy this with cold shipping, it's $23 for the probiotic plus the 20 or $30 shipping. It's just not one or the other. You're not paying 20 bucks. And that didn't make sense to me because some people thought they were getting very cold shipping for 20 bucks when the probiotic costs 23. I don't, I don't know, but you can order like up to 20 of these with the cold shipping. So if you wanna get five of them and pay for the cold shipping, I can put five in that one container. You don't have to pay every time for it. But that just kind of guarantees that these arrive in optimal condition. Uh, I've been taking three with the meal and then if like I know I'm gonna down the whole container of sorbet, I'll have another three at the end of the meal. And the way I know this works is because I have not had any inconsistent bowel movement for like the past week of taking this. Like all of my bowel movements, like not to be too detailed, but like perfectly formed, no wipe. I know 100% that this is working, but you still have to be a little careful. You can't just eat like 200 grams of sugar and take 10 of these because you're gonna have a histamine reaction and your gut bacteria is gonna be having a little party. Although after a few hours, it will certainly help a lot and you will be good. So that's pretty significant. As I said, we'll do a full video on that talking about it more. And uh, I'm excited that's been working, but uh, I'm just gonna enjoy my meal. 
I guess we didn't really talk about the meal. The protein component, we just have the grass-fed ground beef for B vitamins, some minerals, the bulk of nutrition of the meal, healthy fats. We got the starch, wheat flour, some whole wheat flour, some fiber as well. This is the energy, kind of feed the gut bacteria. And the grains in combination with the beans are excellent for detoxing the liver and soaking bile. That's the main purpose of this. And then we got the apple, which is glucose, fructose, higher volume, giving the liver more components to detox with. What we're basically trying to do with all of these meals is give the body a minimal amount of nutrition that it needs for optimal cellular function. We want to remove all the negatives by going organic, by going higher quality. We want to take the corresponding supplements to fix the nutrient imbalances. And uh, we want to give the body the components it needs to soak the toxic bile coming out of the liver. So once the toxins in the diet are low enough, the liver will start detoxing and it's your job to make sure that you have enough starch and sugar and fiber to soak that bile and take it out of the body. If you don't, if you're on keto, if you're on carnivore, if you're not consuming a large volume of starch and fiber, your liver will not be able to detox and you will ultimately not get better. So we're gonna have all this, burger, flatbread, tortilla, fry bread, whatever you wanna call it, white bean hummus, apples, probiotic would be one, and ground up mastic powder. And all the supplements, guys, organsupplements.com, Frank and Syrian meat, Frank and Syrian foods for all the foods. And uh, we'll see you guys for dinner. All right, guys, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna have the sorbet. So I took like two more of the probiotic capsules. Hopefully that helps me digest this. Just really, really delicious. As you guys know, I don't do ice cream on the current liver detox diet. And we made this organic sorbet with lemon and honey and gelatin. So it has this really nice texture and I'm probably gonna end up eating this whole container. So if you guys have been wanting like something minimally inflammatory, especially in the summer, it's basically lemon Italian ice. Really delicious, really nice after the meal. Very addictive though. Very addictive. I'll literally sit here for like 20 minutes just licking the spoon and eating the whole thing slowly. You know, what's special about it is we made it with glass bottle mineral water and any sorbet you buy is just gonna be like regular fluoridated tap water. And that can be said about a lot of products in general. If the production or manufacturing of the product requires water, you might be out of luck. That's why I like all our products on the meat website. And like the soups, the stews, everything we do, the broths is glass bottle mineral water. All right, I'll see you guys for dinner. All right, guys, it is way too late. So we're gonna show you dinner real quick. Same thing we've been doing for the past few years now. Big bowl of udon noodles with some collagen broth and white bean puree, basically like as easy on the stomach as you can get. Very high efficiency from a liver detox perspective because it's a huge amount of starch it's white bean soluble fiber and a very easily digestible collagen protein if you're gonna have ground beef or steak for dinner kind of hard on digestion you know we've done a lot of videos on how protein is the hardest macronutrient for the body to digest so especially before bed you're better off having collagen as a source of protein the main difference here is that we're having uh, some of the probiotic capsules with dinner as opposed to water kefir with our our vitamin b1 vitamin b1, vitamin b1 getting depleted when uh, you consume carbohydrates so it's kind of necessary to have it every single meal i'm just going to wash this down with some glass bottle of mineral water we got the honey crisp apple for dessert and we're going to have some mastic gum as well as charcoal at the end of the meal to help with gum motility and soak the toxins that the liver is excreting in the bile. So we have the organic wheat noodles. These are available on frankieshearingfoods.com. It's made with a hard red winter wheat that has been whole. It's kind of like the only wheat I can tolerate on this diet. 
we got the same white bean puree that we did for lunch with the white cannellini beans and the artichoke spread. And then we just have the collagen broth, the 30 hour bone broth from Frankie's Free Range Meat, a little salt and pepper on it for some more flavor, a little bit of coconut oil uh, for our fat in this. And that's really it. I don't really eat all this. I gotta stop making the, the whole packet at once because I'm wasting food. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for dinner. Crazy amount of supplements here on the table. I gotta consolidate this a little bit because you guys saw it today. I didn't really, I didn't really take any of these supplements besides the vitamin B1. So some days more, some days less. Uh, we'll get some blood work. Might have to do a hair mineral analysis too, but try try to pinpoint what's still out of balance, what we still need. Might might just be really deficient on calcium. I've been trying higher doses of calcium and magnesium the past week, but. I can't really can't really pinpoint because I'm taking shots in the dark. Might just need to do like a really high amount of calcium with a decent amount of magnesium. I think that's what we'll try next. But yeah, if you guys go to frank-defile.com, you'll see all of my interesting and creative businesses. Frankie's Strange Meat, Frankie's Strange Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Tons of new products every week, guys. Uh... A lot of really delicious stuff on the meat website. The local ground beef is amazing. We got the pastrami that I was eating for the past few days. We got the beef bacon, lemon sorbet. You guys saw me down it for lunch. Uh, very, very delicious. On the foods website, we got the potato chips back in stock. Maybe we'll have those for lunch one of these days. And uh, organ supplements, a lot of new stuff. Multivitamin, multimineral. We got the zinc, we got the magnesium, we got calcium. K2 and D3 in capsules, and then we have the new probiotic. So, thanks again for joining, guys. Frank Deshafana.com. See you guys for the next video.